hey hey insight number two we're talking articles of faith at the moment um, we've already chatted about what your favorite one is so if you want to comment on that go look at insight number one and make a comment um, we're talking in this one why is it so important to know these articles of faith now the quote I gave from President Nelson in the last one talked about how we need to have resilient faith and the articles of faith are a great basis of that it's a good place to start if you're having a faith crisis if you have church questions scriptural questions before you even go to gospel topics or before you start deep diving into whatever look at the articles of faith because there will be an answer in there to sort of have a base on they're very basic um, statements of truth that just give you that base to build off so whatever your hairy difficult weird question is start with the articles of faith and then move on have that solid foundation so that you can focus on what you do know because your search may lead you in some places that you're not quite comfortable with yet so have that solid base of what you do know and the articles of faith are a proclamation of what we believe as members of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints as members of jesus christ gospel it is the fundamental truth of our gospel um and there's, they're just beautiful if you really look at them. And you're not always going to agree with every single little part of it, but there's a lot of agreement in there. Um, and you might read them and find, oh, I don't quite like that, I don't quite understand that, so look more into it. All right, anyway. So these 13 statements will answer any question. They will, any gospel question. So you've got to go and wish to, you're going to dig deeper because, like, for the questions I've had, this wasn't enough but as I said it was that stable base so no matter what place I was getting into especially around eternal families because that just blows my mind into just epic panic um, or the complication of our eternal family um, it, it just does not sit well it just mm. um, and yet what I do know is that Jesus Christ I, I go back to article of faith um, number three and that we believe that through the atonement of Christ all mankind may be saved by obedience to the laws and ordinances of the gospel and that's telling me that I don't need to worry about it that Jesus Christ will take care of it I look, do me, I do me I make sure I'm where I need to be and doing all that I can with his help of course and then that eternal stuff will just get taken care of and figured out because right now my brain can't handle it and it's not supposed to so that's what it's telling me. So, and then there's like other ones in here you can pull into that. Um, but it's that that base before you get dig deep into those questions and get lost in just complexities and in this whirlwind of oh my gosh I don't even know where I'm at right now. Have this as a base and come back to this all the time. If you're getting lost in that rabbit hole, come back to these thirteen statements, go over them again, and focus on what you know because that will build. Your knowledge base from there it really works i promise you it works um yeah remember the gospel is simple we talk about this often here the gospel is simple don't over complicate it um complicated is not how christ operates and that's our weakness we make it complicated we have these oh but what about this what about that how does that work oh but i've got a different situation we make it complicated and that's a hard thing to come to terms with it has taken me a very long time to come to terms with the fact that Christ and his gospel, very simple. The complicated stuff, that's all me. So, yeah. Um, so, you have a gospel question, start by reading the Articles of Faith. You'll find some essence of what you want to in there and you can build from there. Start in the footnotes. Go to gospel topic essays. Go to the Bible dictionary, the topical guide. Look at those sources that you know and can trust and believe in. There's some really great guides out there if you can afford them. And if you can't, there's a lot of free ones too. Um, the Gospel Library app has some amazing stuff. Those Gospel Topic essays are fantastic. There's a ton of conference talk. All the conference talks are available. And there's going to be some on whatever question you've got. And there'll be scripture references in there. So there's a lot of resources there for absolutely no money at all. So, go do that. Um, Sister Holland, I've got a quote here from Sister Holland. Now, she doesn't have an official church calling other than the, being the fantastic wife of Elder Holland. 
and I don't think Elder Holland could be who he was if he didn't have a wonderful wife and sister Holland. So I've used her quote um, because this is so true, especially when we're diving into those gospel topics that can be uh, triggering for us. She said, may we believe nothing doubting in the light that shines even in a dark place. And that's Jesus Christ. So may we be, may we believe nothing doubting and the light that shines even in the dark place. So our testimony in Christ, you can see behind me there, carry the light of Christ. Um, yeah, carry that with you. Believe in it, nothing doubting, and build from that. Use the articles of faith as a base, keep Christ as your base and your sure foundation, and build from that. And whenever you're feeling lost and like, oh my gosh, this is too much, bring it back to the basics. Come back to the basics, build that, get strong in that, and then go back into that. Make sense? hope so. Let me know what you think. And if you've got any more insights as to why learning the articles of faith is important. Because why is it so important? Like to memorize them. Isn't it enough to read them? No, we're encouraged to memorize them, to know them. I'm glad I do, but what do you think? I'd love to hear. All right, that was insight number two. Hang around. Number three is good. See you there.